to sit down on my lovely uh all right so obviously don't look at my desk because that's rude all right i've got private things on this desk like this dive log book i've recorded four dives in this log book so you do that again i'm gonna have to fire you all right this dive map behind me is of the cayman islands basically you want the skinny on scuba diving you want to feel like a navy seal learn how to scuba dive this is definitely up there on my list of cool things i've done and it could be on yours too we're gonna look at some old scuba diving footage from my old gopros this episode no sharks this is basically the introduction to scuba diving plus a little bit of night dive footage at the end which i think you guys are gonna love all right picked it out just for you So the Cayman Islands, you know, relatively exotic and gorgeous location. All right, your dive boat, you gotta have all the necessities, you know, food, water, dive tanks, masks, and if you are if you get cold, like a wetsuit. And what happened with me when I was diving in some of the footage is I get cold and I shake. It's not because I'm scared, it's because it's so cold underwater. So the first scuba dive I did was an offshore dive off of a dive bar <laughs> called the Cracked Conch. All right, so the dive, you know, it's spectacular. It's beautiful, you got coral, you got fish. A relatively tame dive, but a beautiful nonetheless. There's a pretty good shot of this sea turtle. Um, yeah, I get real close to them. And they're they're really sweet. You know, there's different types of sea turtles. You see, you see the loggerhead turtle, the Lionfish. Lionfish, this is kind of an interesting creature because they were brought to the Caribbean from like Indonesia and then infested the area. And so what will happen is, you won't see it in this video, but in Belize at least I saw our dive instructor would carry a spear gun and it wasn't for the sharks, it was actually to kill the lionfish. I think the, the most frightening creature you will encounter in the Cayman Islands is a barracuda. So you can find him snorkeling. like. Pretty close to the shore you feel more exposed another thing about scuba diving is when you're underwater you feel more in your element you can shroud yourself and man the defenses whereas when you're snorkeling you feel really exposed because you can't maneuver in the environment you're kind of fixed and that's pretty much covers it you know there's a puffer fish right there it's looking pretty cool nice shot of me that's a hog fish right there and the final shot in daytime is of the Eagle Rays at the dive site known as Eagle Ray Pass. This is an octopus close to the shore. You can't really notice him at first, but you know, on a playback, point him out, you see him like start to cloak himself. Now night dive. This is probably, you know, the highlight of this episode. Night dive. Got a moray eel going in between some rocks. Very cool. I mean, just like a snake slithering. Got a big crab. I'm not sure, you wouldn't call it a king crab, but I don't see that every day. No, it's not as scary as you would think at night either. It's, it's more of a cozy experience. You know, I think what a lot of people will imagine is something will grab them from the depths or loom out of the darkness and that didn't happen at all. What we actually ended up doing is turning off our flashlights and we would wave our hands around activating the bioluminescent plankton and organisms in the water and it would light the area around you sort of like a, a greenish color very very cool when i saw this i i didn't know what i was looking at I, it's a crustacean of some discretion but uh exactly what kind i did not know it's actually a rock lobster this is a rare fish all right spotted drum and i should see it right there Seeing this is, is kind of difficult in the Cayman Islands because I think the class is a rare fish. Uh, you got an octopus, it's in the, pretty much the final clip, and the colors on it are quite spectacular. You don't really see that too often in a fish or an organic life form. 